To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks the flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. A chance to dream. There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. And there's the respect that makes calamity of so long a life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the proud man's contumely, the insolence of office, the law's delay, the pangs of despised love? when he himself might his own quietest make with a bare bodkin. And what fartles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, were it not the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country to whose born no travel returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. And thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought. And enterprise is of great pitch and moment in this regard. Their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.